Will you be supporting Aqua Bitcoin Wallet? I'm somewhat confused by Aqua. Is it a block stream or a chain free product? Yeah, um, I've been waiting for Aqua several months as I was looking for it as an alternative when the Blue Wallet deprecated its Lightning accounts in April 2023. And um, it seems that um, they worked towards a great date for it to launch because the wallet was released this week on Bitcoin's 15th birthday on January the 3rd in 2024. And January the 3rd is uh, the day uh, in which in 2009, the first public block of Bitcoin was mined. And it's also the name of the company um, that is issuing or developing the Aqua wallet. What is Aqua? It's a self-custodial wallet that was originally developed by Blockstream. And um, at that time, a guy called Samson Mao was working for Blockstream. And when he, when he left Blockstream to found his own company, January Free, um, he seems to have taken Aqua with him. It's not a Blockstream project anymore. It's a Chen free project, however you uh, say that name, I don't know. And a handful of people have already tested it and I will include it into my lightning wallet test that I'm conducting here in Zimbabwe right at the moment. But what, uh, from what I've learned so far, Aqua supports transactions in USDT, which is Tether, which runs also on liquid. So it also supports liquid, of course, Bitcoin, Lightning, and other liquid assets, because liquid is a technology where you can even issue your own tokens. Um, so there are other assets also running on liquid. Aqua can be a great tool, I believe, for people who are interested in using stable coins like Tether which the majority of people, for instance, as I have learned in Zimbabwe are doing when they are using cryptocurrencies because they know the value of the US dollar, uh, US dollar and it's very stable compared to their own uh, currencies. And that's why a lot of people are using it. And for that, Aqua might be a great wallet because then you can use all assets like Bitcoin, Liquid, Lightning, and Tether in one wallet. And Aqua is technically not a Lightning wallet. You can send and receive all assets, also Lightning, but there is no Lightning node within the wallet as you have it in Phoenix, Zeus, Green, or Mutiny. And as I mentioned before, you can use both exchange or side swap to swap between liquid Lightning and Bitcoin and you don't have to do that with Aqua because Aqua includes, it has basically the bolts exchange built within its wallets in, wallet in the background. And every lightning payment is basically a liquid payment that is instantly swapped to lightning. That means that lightning payments with Aqua will be a little bit more expensive than lightning payments if you already have an open channel um, as you need to pay for the liquid transaction fees. So if you have an open lightning channel already, then I guess paying with lightning over a wallet like Phoenix or Mutiny might be less costly than using the Aqua wallet um, for your lightning payments. Um, in general, liquid transaction fees are much lower than Bitcoin transaction fees. Uh, they cost much less, but on the other hand, they are a little bit higher than lightning payments. So there are really a lot of trade-offs and a lot of different feature, features in all the wallets that are existing. It's very difficult to recommend one specific wallet as there is no best solution for a person because that's actually the first question you need to ask yourself or someone else if you're an educator. What is the goal that this person wants to achieve with the wallet? 
that's much more important than exactly knowing all the features, the details of a wallet and knowing what's going on in, in, in the background, because uh, it will definitely depend on your use case and your goals, what your optimal wallet is. And I hope to um, produce uh, content, um, a test that is giving you a great overview uh, over the different wallets, lightning wallets I mentioned before.